Now, on the programme, we have spoken many times, haven't we, about the damage caused to our seas and rivers by raw sewage leaks. But human waste isn't the only problem. There's also the issue of chicken poo. Correct. Mm. Yeah, it gets spread onto fields as fertiliser and then washed into our waterways. And one campaign group is taking the government to court, accusing it of not doing enough to fix the problem. The Advertising Standards Authority has upheld complaints in part against the ULAS adverts run by Transport for London and the Greater London Authority. The ESA finds some claims didn't match up to the available evidence. In response, TfL said the ruling centred on minor technical points and that estimates are standard practice amongst experts. Let's have a look at some of this morning's newspapers, starting with The Times today. And King Charles once again dominating the front pages. Times featuring the first picture of the monarch since his cancer diagnosis was made public. Well, the paper also has an image of Prince Harry, who returned to the UK yesterday to meet his father. The Telegraph has the story we're talking about this morning. News that dentists in England will be paid a lump sum of £20,000 to move to rural areas where there's a shortage of NHS appointments. The Guardian focuses on another area of the NHS with a report that delays have left 600 children a week facing a mental health crisis. And the Eye's main story today is about the post office scandal claiming the firm was behind the design of another faulty IT system that may have led sub postmasters being unfairly prosecuted and convicted before the Horizon scandal. And if you are one of those very lucky people who can sleep anywhere <laughs> <laughs> here's someone who takes I that skill that. to a whole new level look at this this photograph was taken by amateur british photographer nima sarikani in norway svalbard islands it won wildlife photographer of the year people's choice award with one judge saying it captures the beauty and the fragility of our planet i know it's beautiful but it's also a little tiny bit sad yeah i mean it's not much ice there no uh, for that polar bear to be sleeping on. And you're right, the fragility of it all uh, really evident in that picture, isn't it? Uh, we're going to look at some more of those amazing, amazing photos a little later in the programme. There's some incredible ones. Um, but how about holiday? Yes, please. Fancy a trip to Spain? Yes. There's a catch. Today? What? We have to stay in a convent. That's fine. You think? Yes. So nuns in Seville. Is it, is it a silent convent? Can we have I peace think and so, quiet? Because there's not much interaction. Uh, the nuns of the 16th century convent, it's the Order of St. Clair, just outside Seville, uh, they are opening up as an Airbnb. Right. So you'll be able to rent the place to go and stay. Um, they've got a few different sidelines to kind of top up their funds. Okay. They make pastries which is Perfect. a win. They uh, have written some religious texts and they do some embroidery. Um, they sell those pastries to you through a little service hatch, so there's not too much interaction. Oh, no chat. No chat. So that's, you know, sometimes that might be a good thing. You just want to go for a bit of peace and quiet. But you'd have to take someone with you to chat too, otherwise perhaps you'd drive yourself a bit mad. Because nuns don't take a vow of silence, do they? That's not just Not all of them, no. No, no there are silent orders, but I don't know if that's one of them. But if you're talking about Spain and pastry and peace and quiet, that sounds great. Should we go? Yes. Let's just go now. Yes. <laughs> we'll be there visiting the nuns of the Order of St. Clair. Uh, good morning to you.